Welcome to the channel. This is Reliable Rudy. Today we're going to talk about a simple Roth IRA example. We're going to talk, uh, play around with some of the annual returns and see what type of numbers we can project to expect for when we retire and moving forward. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. This video contains simply my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. So going into this, um, first you should know that a Roth IRA, the max you can put into it at the moment is $6,000. Um, nobody has a personal advantage over you in that. In a sense, you're paying the taxes up front so you don't have to pay any taxes when you uh, retire. Uh, so going into this, in this example, we have a 25-year-old who's looking to retire at 60. He has zero dollars currently saved up, but he's going to annually max this Roth IRA out for 6000 that's not going to increase. We're not going to worry about income and retirement. It's a very long ways away. Um, and we're going to start with a 9% return. We expect to live till we're 80. And we're going to use a 4% inflation. Now the reason I use 4 is I'm trying to find a average over the next 30 years. So even though the inflation is a lot higher than that, I'm looking to find a ballpark average. Which So in this example, we're going to use 4. And for the annual income, we're going to say this guy makes minimum wage 25000 so what this guy has to do, he has to find a way to save six thousand, leaving nineteen thousand dollars for expenses. So he might he he might have to find ways to live below his means to come up with that six thousand, but his goal is to max that Roth IRA out every single year. So we're gonna hit generate. And you can see here's your six thousand, here's your end balance, your end balance comes to your current savings, here's your growth that year, here's your next six thousand, and so forth. So when you retire he can expect to have roughly around 1.4 million dollars if he's getting a 9 percent annual return and when he passes roughly around a little under 8 million dollars so moving right along to the next example we're going to play with this annual return we're going to use a six percent return for this one now the reason why i'm going to use six percent return is he's actually doing the same exact thing but he's using a financial advisor so this financial advisor he's going to need commission fees He's more than likely going to put you into mutual funds that underperform the market, but these mutual funds also have higher expense ratios. So we're going to cut a percent off for commission fee, a percent off for higher expense ratio, and a percent off for underperforming the market in a sense. So we're going to use 6% return, and we're going to see what the difference is in 3%. So in this example, when he retires, he only has $700,000. Now you could look at your financial advisor and say, hey, you turned this investment into 700000 you did a really good job. But the way that I look at that is you could have done this yourself and got $1.2 million more when you retired. And your end balance is sitting right around $2.3 $2 million, the difference in almost $6 million doing it yourself and instead of using a financial advisor. So... This, this is part of the, the reason why I'm trying to uh, push to the younger generation to say, hey, I don't need to give my money to a financial advisor in a sense. And I'm trying to show people that they can do it themselves in a sense. So for the next example, we're going to do a couple more. But for this one, we're going to use 12%. So let's say you put a little bit more time into it. And like anything in life, when you put more time into it, you become better at it. So, yeah, it may take a little bit more work, but in this scenario, we're going to get a 12% return and see what the difference is. So, right around that $3 million when you retire, but when you pass at 80 years old, you're sitting at $28 million. Now, that's a difference in 3% from a 9% return and 6% from a 6% return. That's the difference in $26 million and 20 million dollars this is why the potential in this industry is endless and why i'm trying to push to help people understand it a little bit better because a lot of people get very scared especially in today's market you know it's not the greatest times and i understand that you're scared but the earlier you start the better and that is why we are going to go back to our nine percent return and for this example, we're not going to be 25 years old. We're going to be 18 years old, and we're going to see what the difference is from if you were to start right out of high school. So we're going to hit generate. And now when you retire, you're sitting at around $2.6 million. 
but when you pass, you're at $14 million. So starting seven years earlier is the difference in almost $8 million. Going back to the, the first example of 25 years old, we're going to get a one last look. So there's your retirement, around $8 million. And then if you're 18 and you start sitting at 2.6 and 14.8. That is going to be the end of this video. I intend to keep the videos around five minutes long. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know time is a valuable asset. And uh, yeah, we will see you on the next video.